we are number 26 and 27. Where can they go? I can let's we are number one. I want to get Christ for help. I can go on and on and say this is what we achieved. But I said, your overall measure is MDG. I was number one. The people who were doing it there was Amina, who is now in the United Nations. I was even invited to the United Nations to share my experience. And so many of them are moving. And collectively, the guy left offices. I was not owing any contractor who had executed his job. I guess I'm not owing for any job that I don't have me awarded. But I can only pay when job is executed. I'm not owing any contractor who has executed his job. I'm not owing any supplier who has supplied anything. I'm not owing one. Examples are people like Innocent, Xenox, Computer, iPad Xenox. We bought the highest amount of computer ever bought by a government in Africa. They are there. HP will tell you the same thing. I paid them six months up front before they supplied it to our schools. I paid them also one year before they delivered any car. You can go on this floor and it's on tape so you can go and verify on it. Above this, I decided from day one that we must have a savings as a, as a state. And we must save at least 10% of my total receipts by the time I left, by the time I leave government. Total money I received while I was governor, and I'm still received, whether it's local government, whether it's state, in whether it's in, uh, our local um, revenue, IGR, everything was about 500 and something billion naira. Out of which they are left office, we had in savings 75 billion naira. And this is how the money was shared, so that you know which one is mentioned. Only one that is had. The money we saved is A, we saved in dollar. In three banks in Nigeria, some of you are working in those banks. Access Bank. Diamond Bank and Fidelity Bank. In each of these banks, I had a saving of $50 million. Dollars, this center. And they were invested at, a, at, at least interest of 6.5%. If you calculate it today, as at that time, it was a period of 25 billion, because there were 150 something, 160. If you calculate it today with interest, is about 250, at least 250 million dollars. These three banks are there. I have in each of these banks again invested at least 30 billion, this is 10 billion naira in three of them, making it 30 billion. At an average interest, call it even 10 percent. If you calculate it, that money today would have been about 60 billion. Remember what I left is 75 as the calculated them. So then the third, the third one is the investment that is in various companies. NIPP, we have 59 million dollars in it. The one that they say is what less is that we invested 3.5 billion in international breweries. International breweries is a, what you can call a global company. It's a part of Airbnb, which is the biggest brewer in the whole world. We, have a, we had a policy while I was governor that any factory, anybody who wants to, foreign investor who wants to invest in Anambra State, who will buy 10% of the company and under the condition that we sign an agreement within that. It will give a number of people work to the minimum of not than 40% of the workers. They do their facility in Anambra State. That facility is there today employing directly and indirectly over 10,000 Anambrarians. They do one of the highest revenue source 
for the state. Even the, some of their waste, the biggest bakery we have in Anambra State, collects waste from them. There's so many things that company have done in terms of helping the state, transporters, this, that, and everything. The shares was at the time being sold at 50 naira. Today the shares is about 5 naira or so, and then maybe that was what was referred. But you know, for all of what I left is less than 5%. Okay. That particular investment is less than 5%. So if you calculate what I left, I left 75 billion. If you go and sell the dollars today, even at 600, it's 150 billion. Plus 60 billion of the naira is 210 billion. Even if that one is wasted, three times what I invested is still there. When you spend your investment, some will go up, some will come down. But overall, the company is still there, the company is still doing well, it's still part of a global chain and everything. I needed to explain it not because I'm defending comment by my brother. My brother is a brother, I miss my brother, we're very close, I remain prayerful for him. Of other things which I didn't succeed, God has given him opportunity to do it and succeed. For me, for me, yes. So if there's anything pending, governance is, governance is not finished. People are still in government in America. So you stop where you stop, other people will continue from there. I don't look back, it's the governor of my state, from all my state, it's my senior brother, it's even more intelligent because he's a professor and a trader. So he knows more, so he'll be able to do things better than I'm doing it. You know, I've done my little one as a trader. Now the professor is there, he will do his own as a professor. The schools that you roof, you roof them, that's how government goes. The other person comes, do his own, but let us think about it. Finally, like I tell you people, for those of you who are, just please get involved. All of us are going to tell you a good story. All of us are going to say the same thing. Like, but it's we can we trust. Even this one they're talking about me, some said he kept on and he did not. And I said, uh -uh. Even in the Bible, the man said, Since you know I know, why didn't you keep my money for seven? If everybody who has passed through Nigeria, who did nothing, kept money, are we going to be in problem now? We would have had the money to do something. At least I kept the money. But in this one, I did something and I paid money. Next year's election, please, I'm begging all of you, should not be based on ethnicity. Don't ever do it. You don't have to buy bread cheaper. Neither do our stars. Or Northern have buy bread cheaper. The Southwest people don't buy bread cheaper. Ibos don't buy bread cheaper. Then nobody tell us about this. This is everybody suffering. Do not do it because of religion. No religion buys anything cheaper. No, there's no religion that have one total electricity. 